Good morning, it's Evelyn and it's 7.20 on Bank Holiday Monday and I'm all dressed up and ready to go to the Vitality 10K. I've got my uh, Stop Striders gear on, my number and look, I'm in the purple. <laughs> so I'm in the purple wave, which is wave four. I'm just on my way to the train station. So I'm just gonna walk, it's only like a mile away, so 20 minutes or so. And meet the rest of the Striders. There's a whole group of us going down, so that should be a good laugh on the way. Don't know what my expectations are. As I said, probably a couple of weeks ago, um, I'm trying to improve my 10K pace or speed or time overall, but um, I'm not in tip top shape. I did a run, probably a too long run yesterday with my friend Lucy. She's a stride as well, but she's not taking part. We were training for St Albans Half, which is in a couple of weeks. I ended up doing eight and a half miles yesterday, so maybe that's a bit too long for the day before a race, especially if I'm trying to improve my pace, but I'm thinking endurance-wise that will help. We tried a bit of run walking as well. So my prediction, 101. What I want, as I said, is 53, 55 way not ready not ready haven't done any speed work all that stuff i was telling you about following a plan not done that yet <laughs> i'm terrible but this will be a good i don't know boost or prompt or gauge to see how i actually am in a race situation my park run this week was terrible as well it's 30 minutes and 22 seconds which is the longest it's been on my own steam as opposed to do volunteering like um, the pacing or the blindfolded run, guided run I did a couple of weeks ago or you know toe walking so I wasn't very happy but um, positive thinking onwards and upwards so that's now 7.23 so I best get going. Should meet, I wanted to be there by quarter two, they said meet at eight but um, we're going to do a group safe train pass so don't know how long that will take to organise but if we're not all there at quarter two it won't make any difference but thought I don't want to be the late one. Anyway, enough of me rambling on to the journey ahead. Speak to you in a bit, bye. Hey, me again. It's about 7.37 and I'm in town now. Oh, I <laughs> should put it behind me. I, um, oh, look at this. It's got foliage. Anyway, why is it that? I don't know. But anyway, Got to show you, I got my chip on my shoes. Chip on my shoes, as I just showed you. And uh, what I wanted to say is, I forgot to show you my bag packed. You get one of those clear plastic bags and a name tag and all that stuff. Not name tag, number tag. Just like doing the London Marathon. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm nearly there, probably like five minutes away from the station, so I'm bang on time. So even though I left about three or four minutes later than I wanted to, I'm on time, so see you bye. Different from Belfast. There are plenty of points available down at the start line. Can you hear that? There's toilets at the start line. <laughs> Righto, there are plenty of toilets down by the start line. As you may be aware, there are some large black gates to my right hand side. This is a public entry and exit point. Please try to keep this clear for us if you can. Just to allow people to enter and exit. Walking up to the purple start. It's full. You're going to try and go forward? No, I think it's purple. I'm going to go forward. Okay. Oh, there are people from yellow. 
Oh, we've we gone too far. We've we gone too far. So it doesn't look that good today. 800 meters to go. It's 59.30 something. Oh no, 59.03. Oh, nearly 58. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I want to come back, Grace. Look, I can have palaces in the back here. It's not straight. I was going to take going through the finish back if it were. Or it's just speed through. <laughs> but it's good fun. We're going to... How cool is this? Me doing 103, I did it in. Oh, it's gone now. 59.03. So um, I'm so happy because I was thinking, oh, 103. <laughs> 103. I was thinking even it's longer. Fish, I it would be 58 or something. <laughs> I know, three seconds, it would have been 58 something. I have to see Graham's face now <laughs> because he was saying he probably did it in 57 anyway. Anyway, speak to you later. Bye. Hi, I'm back now from London, just got back home, and here's my little. How good is that? That's the back, and that's the front. It's cool rose gold. It's a nice model, nice and big and large. Vitality 10,000, or 10 k as they say. Just gonna be a short and sweet recap. Just, that was a really good run. It was very much hotter than expected. I thought it was gonna be grey clouds or cloudy for most of it until 
maybe like near to the end but it, the sun was out from before we started we were cutting it fine trying to get our baggage away so a couple of us went ahead and just put our stuff in the baggage and we had to wait a while while they let people from the earlier waves in but we ended up getting to the purple wave right on time actually they just started to move us all up so happy with that didn't realize it was the first time they had a purple wave so that's good to be part of that. I just want to say thank you to Park Run and Vitality for enabling the few of us to actually get their entries free of charge. So I was one of the lucky ones to get that email to say if you've done more than a certain amount of park runs you can actually get your place free. So thank you very much Parkrun and Vitality for that. Anyway, it just restored my faith in myself that I can run fast. As you saw earlier, I was happy to report that I came in at, on my watch it said 59.04, but when I got the text message through it said 58.59. So for it to be under one hour, I'm so happy about, I just expected it to be over an hour. So I'm so thankful that it makes me feel I haven't lost it all. It's still in there fighting to get back out. So. The being on keto is helping. I'm sort of on the edge of it now. So all good things to come. Again, I haven't been following a 10K plan properly. I did select it, but I'm gonna change it for my friend. She's in one of the pictures. She's gonna do her first half marathon, so I wanna change the plan so it's a half marathon plan. I'll copy out what it is, but I probably won't follow it because it's not on my phone. So we'll see what happens with that. But again, I'm so happy that been able to achieve sub one hour finally for a 10k <laughs> the route was really good it was basically flat most of the way there were it was more lumpy than flat but um overall it's only maybe a 20 meter gain from elevation so that helped a little bit although i don't really work well with flat routes i like I don't like the hills but i like the downhills to pick up that speed and acceleration but it was a good route i took clips of all the main landmarks that I passed. And there's one still banned that was the best. You'll see it there. Oh, they were really good. They were really like, I think that helped keep me happy. <laughs> so I love that song that they were playing as well. I can't quite remember what it is, but it was a good song as well. And I love still pans too. So it just jollied me along. I bumped into somebody I knew for park run as well on the way. So we ran for a little bit and that was, in the clip there too and um, the majority of it I ran on my own as usual but there was all crowds around brilliant support the water stations were in the right place perfectly there were I think out of three and 3k and 7k so yeah they were perfectly placed especially with the normally I would think 3k is too early but it was actually perfectly placed because of the heat so well done to Vitality and to London and it's always good to run around London and see the sights and I uh, came with a great bunch of people too, so that all made it a fun day out with a bit of a run in between. I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye.